everybody, we're back. It's Hey, We're Talking. And I have the lovely and talented Emma Black with me from Hip Hoop Hooray. Hi. <laughs> is it, you saying it's very warm. Tell everybody how hot it is in Brisbane today. It like, is. Do Celsius first. Oh, 86. Okay. Okay, Celsius. So it's 30 degrees Celsius. I mean, that's not too, it's hot, but it's not like. But For it's, here, that's like average summer kind of temperature. If right. it was like more than 30, it'd be like, I'd be like, oh my God, it's really hot today. <laughs> um, so that's like 86 like 30, degrees I'm for like, us. Oh, it's a bit warm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. 86 degrees. So that's the other it's thing like, that people don't understand, of course, because in America, you know, we just think about America all the time, uh, is it's like summer where you live. So yeah. you're experiencing summer. the beautiful summer. And you get to have Christmas at in summertime. That is crazy. Yeah, it's really fun. So, it's what really do you do? Fun. Like, what do you, do you guys have the songs? Like, you know, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas and stuff. Like, do you hear those? Yeah. So, what do yeah. you do? You go, I'm dreaming of a sunny Christmas, or what do you? Do? How do you like? What does that do for you when you're in Australia when you hear those songs? Well, you just listen to it, and you're like, oh, the Americans, like <laughs> they don't get it. <laughs> That's, but Pretty I much. think it would like, be it would be a lot more fun to have Christmas in the summer. Let's be real. It's fun because you don't have to stay inside. Yeah, exactly. Like, like you, <laughs> you just, I think you just had like, um, you had like an early Christmas, right, with some of your family, and you had a bunch of yeah, people. You guys were outside, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's well. So we have like a really nice like outside. The house that I'm in at the moment is actually my mom's house, and um, it's a really open plan kind uh-huh. of house. So we eat most of the year actually here in Brisbane because it's quite warm all year round. We eat outside because um, we have this like nice patio, like pergola kind of thing. Um, and yeah, we eat outside. And at my family Christmas, we always like do big tables just outside with the fans on and that kind of thing. Okay, um, it's like subtropical kind of vibe um and weather here yeah um but yeah we had early family christmas because i am going to be on a cruise ship for christmas uh and so my sister my sister is going to be at her husband's family's place for christmas so okay um yeah we did family christmas without danny unfortunately um here which was really nice it's really fun because i've got two nephews um and a brother and a sister and obviously my brother-in-law and my mom so yeah we did family christmas which was awesome that's fun fun. so okay so on when you're going to be on a cruise ship at christmas will you at least Mm -hmm. be on the same cruise ship as danny yes there you go i'm actually going to be danny's guest so i won't be working oh um i'll be a lady of leisure which will be great that will be fun i may end up working a little bit because i know the people on board and i might be bored so I'm just like, do you want me to hula hoop for some people? <laughs> okay, and so like the cruise director be like, yeah, sure, why not? And I'm like, okay, cool. So speaking of that, let's talk about how you and Danny ended up meeting one another. Did you meet on a cruise ship? Yes, we did. So we were both uh, working on the Pacific Pearl, uh, which is a cruise ship for P and O, which is a, an Australian cruise line. Okay, um, and our cabins were next door to each other. So we were both obviously in the entertainment team because I was doing like circus and I was in the shows and that kind of thing. And Danny was playing music. Um, and yeah, so we just kind of met cause we were on the same kind of time schedules. Like we both worked at nighttime and that kind of thing. Um, and we met sort of in the hallway and then actually Danny, uh, knew that I was a personal trainer and he wanted to um, lose some weight. So I was like, oh, yeah, cool. We can go to the gym together. So we started going to the gym together and then we started hanging out a bit more. And then, yeah, that that's how it happened, really. And from there, (laughs) it's history. And from there, then I moved from my room. I moved into his room next door. (laughs) That was it. There you go. And and it was probably those rooms were the lap of luxury, I'm assuming, for the people that work on the ships. I'm kidding. It's probably not that nice. I agree. (laughs) It was pr- my room. The room that I was in was pretty nice because I was in, I shared a room with my boss. Okay. So, um, who is now one of my best friends. Um, yeah. So we actually had a porthole, which is quite rare. Okay. For people who, um, work on the ship. It depends what you do as well <clears throat> in terms of what kind of room you have. Yeah. So yeah, if you have a, it, it sounds very like hierarchy, but if you have a better job, you have, you have a better room. 
Okay. You know, I was thinking yeah. of you guys last night because I know a couple of times, like, I think it's when Danny's gone to, like, the Wit Sundays and stuff. He gets to go on, like, sailboats and things like that. Did You've gone mm-hmm. with him, right? You've gone on those? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I've gone there, a, a there's few like, times. There's a, there's a new TV show on this network here in America called Bravo TV. I don't know if you guys have that. It's like don't it's like the they do these TV shows. They're famous for doing these TV shows like the Real Housewives of whatever city, and they like oh, fight yeah. and stuff like that. It's just crazy. I don't know if they have that in Australia. Do they have shows like we, that? Yeah, we have like I think they had like the Real Housewives of Melbourne okay. a couple times ago, and then um, yeah, we don't have as many because obviously we don't have the population for it. Um, right, but I think it's, all the, it's the same just thing, think right? That stuff's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> all the Aussies are just like, guys, just chill. Like, <laughs> come on, just relax. Because Aussies are so relaxed. It's just like, eh. Yeah. No one cares about that stuff. It's like, oh, just go grab a drink and all will be well. That's the problem on the American ones. When they grab a drink, that's when everything gets crazy. They drink too much, and then the next thing you know, they're <laughs> fighting each other. They're like, literally, there's like one of them that's like a famous scene where these, first of all, all the ladies have done horrible things to their faces. You know, they've cut yeah, them and that's... made, you know, peel them back as far as they can. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just peel them back. And then they drink, and then they start like getting mad at each other, and they flip over tables and throw stuff at each other. It's crazy. I feel like, okay, that stuff is either scripted. Or those people are really bored with their lives. Well, they're usually like, like super, like super rich people. Yeah, super rich. Yeah. yeah, so they don't have to work or anything like right. that. Right. So they just like they have nothing drink. to do except for drink and get mad about stuff they don't need to be mad about. But the reason I brought up the Wit Sundays is there's a show that they yeah. just started on Bravo, and it's called Unanchored, and it's these people that are like in their 30s that are not married or anything like that and they're like professionals like doctors and lawyers and stuff like that and every year they go down to the Bahamas and they get on like a sailboat all together with this guy and they just like sail all over the Caribbean for 23 days and it's awesome that sounds great but it's crazy again because they all get drunk and then they get mad at each other and they do dumb stuff it's the same thing (laughs) It's just a bunch of people doing the same stuff. And there's a bunch of girls, like in their 30s, there's a bunch of girls in there that have done stuff to their face. And I'm like, why oh are you doing goodness. this? You're only 30 something years old. What are you doing? So, That's yeah, crazy. Cheryl and I watched that the other night and I was like, this mm. is almost like a boat like when Danny and Emma were on in the Wit Sundays. <laughs> it's very similar, but it's a little bigger. It's like a two story or yeah. whatever. That one was two stories, Probably too, like wasn't it? Like. Multi- um, well, you had below deck and up up on top. <laughs> See, I have no idea yeah. what anything is. You're probably like, Scott, that's the poop deck. I mean, seriously, come on. <laughs> <The poop deck. laughs> um, it depends which boat you're on. So boat, ship, whatever. Um, yeah. It depends which one you're on. So I've been on a few. The Solway last that we went on, it's like a vintage like pirate ship. Okay. Uh, we went on that like two years ago. Um, and that was really cool. Um, and yeah, they had like below deck where you like sleep and all the bathrooms and that kind of thing. And then they have upstairs. So it was just kind of like the one, well, two layers, I guess. Yeah. Um, which was cool. That was awesome. We actually paid to go on that trip. So, okay. um, because it was Danny's birthday present for that okay. year. Okay. Okay. Uh, and my mom, my mom came with us too. So it was like, I was like, happy birthday, Danny. And then my mom was like, oh, you're going to the Wit Sundays. That would be a nice holiday. I was like, Mom, do you want to come? She's like, yes. <laughs> okay, you can come. Like third wheeling much. Yeah. Um, but she loves that kind of stuff. So, okay. Yeah, so we went uh, for three days and then Danny made a video and then that's when he got asked to come back like for free to make videos for that company. Um, yeah, and now we're moving up there next year. Crazy. You're going to move to the Wit Sundays? Nice. Yeah. Didn't Danny tell you? Uh, uh-uh, yeah, I haven't heard that yet. Through. Oh yeah, we're gonna move up there in January. Okay, everybody, is, exclusive. Not that far away. I know. <laughs> yes, exclusive. That's awesome. Exclusive. Where were you guys? Yeah. Were you guys in um, Melbourne before Brisbane, or where were you? I can't remember. Um, we didn't really have a home. Because <laughs> you were no, but you guys. When I first met you over the internet, it was yeah. you guys were in somebody's apartment that you were living in. Do you remember that? Where were you at? 
trying to remember. It was really high up. Do you remember that? It was not that long ago. I've only known you for like maybe less than a year, right? It was like earlier. Was it earlier this year? Must I have think been. so. Like, it was it was a high rise. You guys huh? were really high up. Where were you? <laughs> She's like, I've lived so many places, Scott. You have no idea. You're you're tricking me right now. And I've stayed in so many places. Uh, it was a friend's right. place. They got new flooring put in while you were there. You had to leave or something. Oh, okay. No, that was in Brisbane. So oh, okay. That's where we lived last year. Okay. Yeah, that's See, where we lived all of last year. I knew I'd figure yeah, it so out eventually. Was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, where did we live? Um, I thought you were talking about Melbourne, but that was in that was here in Brisbane in the city. So yeah. we lived on the top floor. That, that was cool. it was high up because I remember Danny doing yeah. some videos and like poking his camera out there, and I was like, "Oh gosh, I don't yeah. show me that I'll fall out the window yeah. and die." The balcony was like because it was so high up; it had like a slight lean, like downwards. Oh gosh, so you didn't no! Get a, it was only very slight. I'm totally fine with heights and that kind no. of thing, so it didn't bother me. No. But the first time Dan went up there, he was like, whoa. He's like, why do I feel weird? And I was like, it's because <laughs> it's like a, just a little bit slanted. Not like a lot, but enough to no. notice it. Yeah. That but would freak me out. Why would they do that? It Was it just like old okay. and falling apart or did it? Yeah. No. Emma, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, that would scare me so bad. Yeah. I yeah. am like one that of those was, people that yeah. watches those yeah. YouTube videos where the guys like run around on like buildings and with nothing to like, save them. And it's like my whole insides are like going, oh, like I just feel like sick that they're doing that. Yeah, they do some crazy stuff with those like parkour guys and that kind of thing. And I'm like, really on concrete? Like, mm -hmm. I can do some of that stuff, but I like to have like a nice soft mat like underneath me in case I yeah. decide to land on my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes <laughs> sense. But I'm talking yeah. about there's these like Russian guys that will go up on like cranes and stuff that are like at the top of yeah. the highest buildings in the world and, and they stuff. Do like a handstand or something nope. like on the top of the crane. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> See. not doing I, it. I uh, know, know a couple of people who have done like, you know, like the aerial silks and that kind of stuff. They've mm -hmm. done that like from helicopters and like nope. over like in like big crevices or like there's like a tight wire like nope. going across like from like a valley. Yeah. No. Nope. And they have like no safety. No. 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 Like I like heights, but that's a bit extreme. Emma, that makes me feel really sick. Just want you to know. <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable even thinking about it. It's like when I watch the, I just watched the new Mission Impossible movie and he's like climbing a rope up the helicopter while it's flying. And even though I know it's like a stunt or whatever, I'm still like, no, no. Was it, no. is it Tom Cruise who did it? Yeah. He yeah. might have done it. Himself. He does. He no. Done, yeah. He talked about it. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does it. Yeah, cool. And he, in in this one, he falls too. Like he climbs it and then he falls and he actually fell. Like he did it on, per like that was part of the stunt. And I was just like, nope. Goodness. Nope. Because there's a big thing at the bottom of the helicopter. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie. But he <laughs> lives. I don't know if you knew this, but Tom Cruise lives. He doesn't die in the movie. Okay. Good. I, okay. Spoiler. <laughs> I thought you meant like in like life he lives. I was like, I feel like I would know. If yeah, if Tom Cruise died, everyone would know for sure. Everyone, would everyone yeah. would know. In the movie, though, the chances of him dying in the movie are very slim. Also, I don't think he's going to die until he decides to stop making those movies. Yeah, fair and enough. he's and the thing is, he's like old too. You know that, right? Yeah, like, he's, he's like, like yeah, he's, he's got to be like fifty five years old or something yeah. like that. That's so not that old anymore <laughs> now. Now that I'm old, I'm like, that's not that old. 55 not that old, Scott. Come on. That's not that old. Not I mean, that if, old. in four years, I'll be 50. Less than four years. Are you going to have a party? I should. Party I should. 50? If I'm still alive by then. <laughs> I'm sure you will be. 50 years old. I used to think that was so old. You probably still think that's really old, but I used to think that was so old when no, somebody was 50. No. Because I'm like heading towards 30 and I'm like, oh, oh Emma, why did you tell probably, me you're heading towards don't. 30? <laughs> I already feel old enough yeah. because your husband was like in my youth group when I was at a church. He was like 16 <laughs> and I was in my 20s. So, oh, oh, my gosh, I'm so old. 
He was really a pain yeah. in the butt too. Did you know that? I can imagine. That doesn't surprise me at all. He still is a pain <laughs> in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> we had I a lot of fun. Right. I love him. <laughs> yes, you do. I know we do. Um, so okay, so you met Danny on a cruise ship, and the rest is history. You are an amazingly talented, not just hula hooper, but you do all this extra cool stuff that you learned at college for circus which i'm still i know we talked about that the other day but it's still i'm thinking about it i'm like that is the coolest thing ever it's pretty cool it's uh yeah it's a -a one-of-a-kind kind of course it's there are only a few universities around the world who offer it and because there's a lot of aerials and that kind of thing involved you need a pretty specialized sort of space for it yeah you have like all the rigging the roof and that kind of thing so um well that was the university was cool that was one of the things I was going to ask you when you were talking about you and your brother doing the the aerial stuff with the uh, trapeze and stuff. Mm-hmm. As soon as I think about that, like in America, my thought is, oh, my gosh, the insurance to make sure nobody dies on this thing must be astronomical. <laughs> is that how it is in Australia? It's it's actually not as bad as you think it's going to be. OK, it's not too bad. I actually did all the insurance stuff for us and it's um it's I think it's like five thousand dollars a year or something. That's not, not too that bad. bad. And it's like uh, I think you get like over twenty million dollars. Nice. So it's long I mean you stuff. don't listen. I said that like I was all happy. You don't want anybody to die. But if somebody no, was gonna I, die, you know, that's pretty good. You could it's you could really covered. difficult to um, like we have a lot of safety measures and that kind of thing. And you have a safety harness. On I like how you pause, you pretty much, you pause like this much. You're like, it's pretty hard to do. It's pretty hard no, to I die. Mean, I, I was going to say it's pretty hard to die on that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, but at the same time, it not possible, could happen. But, right. Yeah. I mean, whenever you do an activity, like, uh, sure. like, a extreme activity there's always some sort of risk and that's why we right. have this waiver that you have to sign pretty much and pretty much the waiver says if you die it's not our fault yeah but yeah. then people will still right. at least here people would still try to sue you even though you told them hey you might die it's not our fault if yeah. you do they'll still be like i don't care if i die i'm suing you for sure and you're like well you'll be dead yeah. but somebody else yeah. will sue. how can you do that somebody <laughs> else will they'll be like did you know bob died we could get some money off these people because bob died this is really i'm being really this is horrible why am i talking about this <laughs> okay. it's okay oh. um it, it actually not so much in australia but um like there have been a few accidents and that sure kind of thing. not doing flying trapeze specifically but um doing some other aerials and that kind of I stuff. don't want to don't it tell just, me don't I tell know, me about them sorry. I'll be so sad oh my gosh okay now listen you're gonna go, like, Google, like, no I am actually. not I don't want to see anything yeah. like that it's I not, even it's, hate it's terrifying it's horrible I even hate when people are watching like car crash videos and I'm like, did the person live? And they're like, I don't know. And I'm like, I don't want to. I don't. That makes me feel so uncomfortable. I don't want to know that somebody might have died. It's I terrible. Look that up. Like, no, yeah, that's. But you know what's funny to look up is like circus performer fails <laughs> like and pole dancing fails. There's this <laughs> account on Instagram that I follow and it's called not not so acrobats. Yeah, and it's just all these people like training and just like le- like doing like all these cool flips, and then they'll just like land on their face. Oh god, so funny! So like, how I cannot, I can't. I'm not allowed. I've not allowed myself to like scroll through their feed in public because I just like start, you start laughing. Out laughing. Yeah, how- I'll just be like sitting there on my couch and laughing, and Mum's like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, it's just really funny." Someone like. <laughs> kick someone else in the head accidentally while they're doing a triple backflip and it's hilarious so have you ever fallen on your face this will we'll end the show with this have you ever fallen on your face okay i have fallen uh there have been three times in my life that i've had falling accidents okay okay so the first time i was maybe i would have been like 17 okay and i was performing at a festival and it was really really hot um, and I'd just come down from like spinning up in the air and that kind of thing. And my last move was like hanging by one foot and I had like this crazy hair. So I was like moving around and that kind of thing. Um, and my foot just slipped, but luckily oh. I wasn't too far off the ground. 
And I think I actually knocked myself unconscious for a little bit because my friends were on stage and they said that I fell, but I kind of fell onto my head and then onto my stomach. Uh And then I just lay there for like two seconds and then I got up and just ran off. Um, But it was the end of the scene anyway, so I was supposed to run off anyway. Um, But (laughs) But still... It's terrible. It was fine. It was totally fine. My okay. mom was like, do you need to go to the hospital? I was like, yeah, I'm good. Should be fine. Um, the other one was when I was in my third year at university, so my final year, and I was training, and um, I was doing, like, this, like, twisting thing in the air. And you know how at gymnastics schools they have, like, a trampoline with a foam pit and you can, yeah. like, jump into the foam? Yeah, so I was doing stuff over the – I was doing, like, a release trick where you, like, let go and recapture it uh-huh. um, over the foam pit because I hadn't quite got it yet. So we train over the foam pit so you don't hurt yourself pretty much. Right. Anyway, so I was doing this, like, twisting trick and I ended up twisting and kind of folding over backwards oh. onto this, like, rope that I was using and I, I – hit myself in the back of the head with my heel. Oh, no. And normally, normally I'm not that flexible. And so I, I remember just like hitting it and then I bounced out into the foam pit. Oh. And I think I was in a bit of shock. So I scrambled out of the foam pit and then I just lay there and I was like, oh, my goodness. Oh. This really hurts. And so I ended up spraining one of the joints in my back. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And, oh. then, uh, and then the other one I just – with the flying trapeze, I jumped off the platform uh-huh. like without any safety lines on, and yeah. I just ended up with a bit of whiplash. Oh my gosh! Yeah. But okay, the worst accident I've ever had was I tripped over a lunchbox, like someone's lunchbox at school, <laughs> and I ran into a pole. No! And cracked my chin open, like oh. right down the middle. Oh my gosh! But that was the worst accident I've ever had. Touch wood. Oh. Like doing something stupid. I was just walking. Yeah. 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 I'll have to tell you, I'll tell you about my accidents someday. They're worse, but not, I didn't kick myself in the back of the head though. I have never accomplished that. that. That's, that's gotta be your best one. Although the chin, that's bad too, but it wasn't when you were performing. That was just walking. No, I'm surprisingly uncoordinated at life things (laughs) like at steps and that kind of like, I would trip just on nothing. Like, I just like forget to pick up my foot and just trip. And I'm like, oh, there's a step there. And Danny's like, oh, no, there's not. And I'm yeah. like, oh, just, yeah, sure. Yeah. Or like I'm just running into a wall, just forget how broad my shoulders are. And I just like go through a doorway and just like, oh, get stuck. And I'm like, oh, no, got to go sideways. <laughs> yeah. Stuff like that. That happens the, to me all the time. The funny thing is, when people watch this, if you watch it on YouTube or Facebook, my face for the whole time you were telling you're kicking yourself in the head and all those things, I'm just like, oh, oh I just have this terrible look on my face. So there yeah. you go. Well, so, so with that accident, I know we have to finish it, but with that accident, I couldn't move for three days. Oh so my I was gosh. Stuck in the head that I couldn't, I couldn't actually like physically move my upper body for three days oh. so the physios at the university luckily their practice was literally in my street that i was living in they actually came to my house um and they gave me treatment in my bed and my housemate had to like serve me food in bed for like three days oh my gosh that's couldn't. terrible yeah. but you it's get okay to t- now that's but you get to tell everybody that you kicked yourself in the back of the head with your heel which is i mean yeah. when you think about it the body's not supposed to do that so yes but f- in my industry, I'm actually not very flexible for, for what I do. Um, I do more like strength kind of moves. Yeah. Um, so I'm very strong, but I'm not that flexible. And normally you're like one or the other. Yep. Um, but sometimes you get super duper talented people who are both, which is, I'm very jealous of all this. I people. think I'd rather, <laughs> I'm trying to decide would I rather be flexible or strong? I think, I'm thinking, I like the idea of being strong better, but the flexibility to kick yourself in the back mm. of the head. That would be a good party trick. If you could Definitely. do that at parties, yeah. just like say, Hey I everybody, have, if I can kick myself in the back of the head with my cool. heel, everybody take a shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have friends who can like put their butts on their head. No, it's crazy. Like their legs will come over and their butt is like sitting on there. That's it's crazy. Okay. We have to end it right there. A butt on the back <laughs> of your head. Nobody, you yeah, can't top crazy. that. There's no way to top that. Yeah. now. 
yeah, so Emma. Like, so like, this anyway, oh my yes. gosh. Yeah. Okay, listen. So everybody, go check out Emma's channel, Hip Hoop Array, on YouTube. And get yeah, ready because she's going to have a video series to teach you how to do this stuff. Some strength and conditioning, I'm sure. You're going to get yourself in shape. Yeah. Swinging around a hula hoop, doing all sorts right. of stuff. It's going to be great. So, Emma, thank awesome. you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. No problem. We'll have you back soon. <laughs>